Good afternoon, Adam here at Board at Home. In this week's special episode of Jumping Let's Play, we'll be taking a look at 10 stocking filler presents. These are presents that make for great stocking fillers or secret Santa for the workplace. So without further ado, we will jump in in no particular order and show off these games to you. So first up, we have the Happy Salmon card game. This is a cute little card game in a lovely little uh, container. You're going to see a few of these. And it is effectively a new variation on the classic card game Snap. Now in this, each player is going to be given a deck of cards. That deck of cards is shuffled up and has a series of different actions on them. So we're not using a traditional set of playing cards, but a nice specially designed set. Each card will have different actions such as fist bump, high five, things like that. And players will turn over the top card from their deck and call it out. Anyone that has the same one, they need to pair up to perform the action to get rid of their card. If someone doesn't match or if someone happens to uh, have one that two other people have already had, they need to get in there first. Otherwise, they need to put the card to the bottom and try again. The first player or players to get rid of their cards wins the game. Really fun, nice light game, really quick, a really good active game as well. That is Happy Salmon. Our next one is a game where you'll be working together and that is a Bandido. This is a firm favourite within the shop, one that we heartily recommend to anyone looking for a little game to take anywhere on the go. In this, you are trying to stop Bandido from escaping his jail cell. The cheeky little guy keeps tunnelling out and it is up to you lot to get together to work out how to stop him uh, from escaping. You'll do this by laying down tunnel cards and you'll need to loop his tunnels back on themselves or close them off completely. What I love about this game is that it's a small box but it's a rather large game inside so it does sprawl out quite a bit. But you also have a factor where you can't communicate fully. So I can't tell people exactly what cards I've got, but I can tell them how helpful they might be. So if I'm going to make things worse, I might say the only thing I can do is make things worse this time. Or leave this bit to me, I should be able to do something here. What I love is the variability within the game as well. You might think you're doing well and then suddenly you've all got cards that only make it worse and it keeps spiralling out of control. Conversely, it might be over within a minute, something we've had happen rarely before, but it's always interesting when it does. That is Bandido. The next one is another cooperative game and that is The Mind. In this game, players are dealt out cards with different numbers on them and they need to be able to place those in ascending numerical order, but without communicating with the other at all. That's not just talking with each other, that's any facial expressions, any kind of verbal nods, anything like that, all taboo in this game. The game wants you to use the power of your mind to be able to complete it. Get through the level, then you move up to the next level and take that many cards. So if you're on level one, you have one card. Level two, each player gets two cards. So the further up you go, it progressively gets harder because you have more cards to get rid of. There are a few things in there to try and help you out, such as uh, being able to have multiple lives in the game. And you also have your throwing stars as well, which people can use to try and speed up the game if their cards, all their cards are really high value. Really fun game, uh, absolutely crazy. When you do it and you have that sense of relief after such an intense uh, round of game, it's like such a such a huge relief. When you don't do it, the frustration that you are out by one card. That is the mind. For the next one is Man Bites Dog. This is a card game where people are trying to create the funniest headlines out of their cards. Players are dealt cards at the start of the round, they then take those and they need to create, as I said, the most hilarious um, headline. The first player to 500 points in this game wins. You can extend that or reduce it to make it longer or uh, shorter based on how you want to play. But that is Man Bites Dog. Our next one is a throwback to a classic and that is Cribbage. Complete with the set of cards and a folding crib board. This will give you everything you need to play to uh, play the classic 
uh, card game. Uh, you can also use the cards for other things as well. As I said, you do get the set of cards in there and a full set of rules for cribbage. Surprisingly, I've only recently learned how to play this. Been meaning to for a while and it is a lot of fun. What you're trying to do is create sets of cards that equal certain values of numbers and that allows you to then progress your pegs along the board. First one to the end wins the game. Another take on a uh, classic jacks is pass the pigs. In this, players will be rolling their pigs to score points. You can see on the back here that there's a variety of different positions. It has an element of push your luck because you don't want to go too far, otherwise you might roll the wrong uh, pigs and have a pig out. That is pass the pigs. Colour Brain is a trivia game with a difference. In this, you are answering with colours. So all the questions will be about colours, what colour was the dress in so-and-so's film, what colour is the castle in this film, for example, and you have to answer with a variety of colours. A nice, light trivia game, something that is a bit more inclusive than other uh, more traditional trivia games. That is Colour Brain. Our next one is for our Star Wars fans out there, and that is... Don't upset the wiki. In this card game, you are either trying to collect sets of wikis or be the first to get rid of all your cards. It's a really fast paced, light little game based upon another game called No Llamas, if you have played that before. And like Happy Salmon, you've got this lovely little uh, package for it. This time it is a Chewbacca. Finally, uh, the ultimate stocking filler in our shop, this one has been insanely popular, and that is the wooden puzzles. So we've got a set of three here, wooden puzzles. They are one ninety-five each, or we do all three for £5. You have hard, harder and hardest in the levels, if you can see there. And with these, uh, you if you've played these sort of little things before you need to find a way to take them apart and be able to put them back together again furiously frustrating proper little head scratchers these are perfect for anyone that likes a good little puzzle or riddle that is everything here today guys i hope that you enjoyed if you have any questions about any of these games or you want to know about anything else that we do in the shop please visit us on the high street. We do have extended opening hours for the coming week leading up to Christmas. You can find those on our social media. I will pop them at the end of this video as well. As always, guys, it's a pleasure, and I hope you have a lovely time, and Merry Christmas to you all. Thank you.